Hey guys, and thanks for joining me for this really easy vegan version of mini upside down cakes. You use your muffin tin, to easy prep, cooks in about 20 minutes. Now if you don't want this to be vegan, simply use regular butter, milk, and a large egg. But for the vegan version like I made, we're also going to use nut butters. So not only is it vegan, it's also gluten free. So you'll need two tablespoons of vegan butter, three tablespoons pure maple syrup or honey, an assortment of fruit. I used blackberries, blueberries, mango, strawberry, and pineapple. But I have to let you know the mango gets kind of stringy, so it might not be as smooth as the other fruits. You need one ripe banana mashed, a quarter cup of your choice of plant-based milk, the equivalent of one large egg vegan replacement, a third a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I actually use between a half and to a whole teaspoon to give it more flavor and you want one cup of a nut flour. I personally mixed almond, pecans, and walnuts and I did a half a cup almonds with a quarter cup of pecan and a quarter cup of walnuts. You need one teaspoon baking powder so it'll rise and a quarter teaspoon salt so that it brightens the flavor. Light the oven to 350 Butter your muffin tins, or you can use muffin papers. And go ahead and put fruit in the bottom of each muffin tin, and then top that with about a half a teaspoon of honey or maple syrup in each one, and then set it aside. Now you wanna take your mashed banana, your plant milk, your egg replacement, vanilla butter, and the remaining syrup, and mix together. And then in a separate bowl, you want to whisk your flour, baking powder, and salt your dry ingredients. And then you pour the wet mixture into your dry mixture, stirring with a spoon until it's combined. And then you want to equally divide the batter among the cups. I usually do it at least half to three quarters full for each one. And then you're going to place your muffin tins on a baking sheet because the juice of the fruit may, may overflow the size of the muffin tins. And then you want to bake the cakes until they rise, about 20 to 25 minutes. Don't worry about using a toothpick. If you're using nut flowers, you can tell they're done or not looking at them. And you'll know if they start to look burned that they're done. So once that's done, take them out of the oven, let them sit for about 10 minutes, and then take a knife and loosen the edges and place the baking sheet on top of the muffin, turn it upside down, and then remove. And you've got these delicious, warm, mini upside down vegan cakes. And this is a treat because I rarely eat anything cooked anymore, especially if it's a dessert. So this is an absolute treat. They look delicious and they are so moist and the fruit is so creamy. And they will last about five days in the refrigerator as long as you put them in a container that's sealed. Enjoy! Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you experiment with some different fruits, let me know what you use in the comments below. And stay tuned for more vegan recipes. See you next time.